Good morning, happy Friday, happy first day of the vlog. I, it's dark in here, should I turn on a light? No, you're fine. I've already gotten up, filmed a video. I haven't edited edited the video yet, but Brian's taking a shower. Can you see her? Yeah, <laughs> they're cleaning the pool out there and she's like begging to go out there. Um, all right, so I have no idea what we're doing today, but I thought, since I'm actually wearing makeup for once, let's start the vlog today, do a little bit of running around. And that's the plan. It's kind of overcast, but I think it's hot outside today. So I do have on a fake tan as well. Maybe I'll wear some shorts. I don't know. Let's see. Good morning to you. You slept with me last night, huh? And then she sat in the window while I filmed a video. She's just waiting on something I can't say out loud. I'll spell it for you. T-R-E-A-T-S. We already got him though. We already got him. Also not sure what Brian got out of this drawer this morning. But there we go. This is what we're going with, Walmart tee. I need to fix my hair. Walmart white tee, universal standard crop jeans, chunky white sneakers. It's very comfortable. So here we are. Okay, Brian dropped me off downtown at Mardi Gras Park to get our t-shirts. I signed us up for the Azalea Trail Run. We can't do it, but I like to donate and get t-shirts. So it's crazy out here. There's field trips and stuff. So he just dropped me off to pick these up. And now I'm trying to figure out where I can meet him so that he doesn't have to park anywhere. There is no parking anyways. So let's see if we can find him quickly. Look how pretty it is out today though. I didn't even know they did tours like that. That's the museum. I see him around the corner from these buses. I can see his truck. I guess I could walk down there and meet him, huh? Okay, we came to Old Navy now. Long sleeve boyfriend shirts, buy one, get one 50% off. These could be really cute. Like, look at this green. Just for summertime. I love this one too. They have swim here too. Like matching like swimsuit, cover up, pants. We might come here next week, in the next couple weeks anyways, because I have a few swimsuit videos planned already, but we might come here and do a little swimsuit Saturday. Brian's getting him some shorts. That's why we're here, really. But I might as well look and get me some things too, right? $200 later, Brian got some goodies. Oh, I'm, I'm filming in the wrong, hold on. There we go, he's taking him some Tums. Got him a little Diet Coke. We're gonna walk next door to Ross. We were just at Old Navy. We're gonna walk next door to Ross because sometimes they have good flowy dresses. So we're just gonna see if they have anything that could interest me, pique my interest. Yeah? Yeah. Peaking the interest. <laughs> These two I liked okay, but their fitting rooms are closed. It says go to the front of the store, which doesn't really make any sense. So, look at that. They made like little, Look how tiny they are at the front, those fitting rooms. Change of plans. Change of plans. <laughs> Brian likes the Just Decay one, the pink, like frilly one. I showed him a picture because we were waiting for those fitting rooms. They were taking forever. So I guess I'm just gonna wear that one. My legs are so sore from clean and everything. Good morning and a happy Sunday. I am dressed. Brian and I are gonna go get some breakfast and then maybe do a little bit of shopping. Come on, kitty. Here's my outfit for the day. These shorts are uh, Abercrombie. They're the set. Remember last summer I bought this set and then the green tropical one? So these are the shorts. This is from Proud Poppy, Cole Haan sneakers. And then I just have some little Target silver hoops. And this is the look for the day. We're back at Big Bad Breakfast. I was just here yesterday with the girls. Penny's like, what? Like, like, <laughs> We're not about, we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. Brian's trying to show me. Ooh, this looks comfy. Is that bra? Oh. These, like these right here. These? Well, yeah. What were you just singing? Uh, Cameron Marlowe, Girl on Fire. You should, you should find him. He's good. Breakfast was good. 
I got a cheeseburger, <laughs> but it was really good. Now we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. For a little shopping at Bokeh. Y'all know I don't like breakfast food breakfast that much. Champions. All right, we're shopping for new clothes today. Um, over everything in my closet. Belk, I feel like, has the most plus size things in one spot and a good variety of styles. So that's why I'm here. Though this used to be the plus size section, I don't know if it is anymore. So that's a large. Um, okay, so let's keep looking, though that dress is really cute. I see extra, extra large. I do have those pictures coming up. I like that style. Here's the plus size over here. They must have moved it, but I did grab this dress in this really pretty green color, extra, extra large. It could work. Okay, so I'm looking for tops, really. I have a bunch of shorts and jeans, we know this. Here's this dress, the exact one in plus size. We're gonna take a plus size one in too. Oh my gosh, they have the limited curvy. Okay, okay. So here's my mini haul. I'm really looking for tops, however you see jeans. <laughs> and then a couple of dresses because y'all know we have pictures coming up next weekend. And I thought maybe I could change my mind, but let's do jeans first with some cool tops, I think. Let's start with these jeans. Wonderly is the brand. They're called the Vintage Straight in a size 20. They slid on so nice. They've got a bit of stretch to them, but not too much. They're high-waisted. I love the knee, a little distressing. The fit is so nice on these. I have to grab these, right? Again, I didn't come for jeans, but they're 50% off. That's what the red tag means. So yeah, we're grabbing the jeans. All right, this little vest or little sweater vest, English Factory, I think is a brand in a size 2X. I thought it'd be cute wearing it with just jeans and maybe sneakers, but I think it's a little bit too thick, even though it is sleeveless. I liked the color, I liked the idea. Don't love the look of it, but the jeans, I'm sold on. Next top is also the brand Wonderly in a size 2X. However, you can see straight through it. Now I did come in other colors, but I liked the white for summertime, but it's so see-through that even if I just wore like a bralette, you can still see my skin through it. So do I grab it in a different print? Like a different color? I don't know, I liked the cleanness of the white, especially with these jeans would be cute with just white sneakers. As much as I like it, I think that it's a no, just because of how see-through it is. Okay, next top. I think it's meant to be a little bit more flowy but it's just a little bit snug. It's like a crushed velvet. I do have one very similar, more of like a bubblegum pink from Target, but I thought this one could be a little bit dressier, but I think it's too small. It was also in the sales section, so they don't have a larger size, but I liked the bigger sleeve, the square neck, it's smocking. But yeah, I think it's just meant to be a little bit flowy. Y'all know I'm always on the hunt for good t-shirts, graphic t-shirts to wear with bike shorts. This one, I would like just a little bit more roomy, especially down here if I'm gonna wear it with bike shorts. But I could always like front tuck it into jeans with sneakers. But I don't love it enough, I think, for that. I like the graphic, obviously, I like the band, but the purpose was a more like oversized t-shirt for bike shorts. So, all right, this is our last t-shirt. So what I'm thinking for now, yes to the jeans. I love them, they fit so good. So let's do, these are both the same dress, just in two different sizes. I do have something similar to this, just the fit's not that great. So let's do this blue one first. So at first glance, I do like this dress. However, I wish the smocking was a little bit wider and didn't stop right here. Maybe if it came down a little bit more. I love the print. I love the ruffle at the bottom. Bottom Crown and Ivy is the brand. Could be really cute for pictures. I think it's also 50% off. It would be really cute with those Walmart like cream colored booties. It's flowy, which is what I want. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like a tablecloth. <laughs> so this one I thought I would like a little bit more. It is lined, but it's like, well, it's like a tank dress underneath it that's attached at the shoulders. So it took a little bit to finagle it. I like the color. It's just okay. I think if I do end up getting it to wear for pictures, I would need a size larger, um, but I don't even think I really like it that much. So there we go. I think if I were to get a dress, it would be this one. 
though I'm not sold on it either. So I think we're gonna pass on that one as well. But the jeans are a yes. Here's the other colors of that white button up. So they have this chambray. They have this one, which I grabbed initially, but I just bought a long sleeve one like this from Old Navy. And then this like green flowery print. So I think we're gonna pass on this shirt. Let's do price check on these jeans. See how much they come out to be. Wow, that was loud. 20 bucks. Yeah, I'm happy with these. Now let's go find Brian. I think he said he went upstairs. That's where the men's clothes are. Good morning, happy Monday. It's 8, 10. I have cash in the back. You probably can't see her. It's her spa day, that's what we call it. But we take her to get her bath. She doesn't get trimmed or anything, just a bath. But her nails do get trimmed. What do they do? They trim and they cut and maybe, I don't know. They do a couple different things to her nails because her nails grow pretty fast, pretty fast. <laughs> so that's what we're doing this morning. It's a gross, like hot, rainy, muggy kind of day. Excuse me, I just sneezed. Um, so I guess it's a good day if she's gonna be stuck inside. I guess today is the day because it's not sunny outside. So we're gonna do that. I need to run to the to FedEx to donate a few bags of clothes. I did save some to the side to post to Poshmark eventually. It's not there yet, but I do have some things. I only save the things that are either like brand new with tags or excellent condition because I feel like that's only fair if someone's buying them. Okay, I can't quit sneezing. So I'm gonna end this part here. Let's drop her off. And then I might just take today off. I don't know. I know Old Navy's having a sale. I ordered a bunch of stuff yesterday from, let's see, we did Abercrombie, Target, and Torrid. I just need some new like spring type things, but also I justify it because I can do it for a video. Um, and then I saw someone post about Old Navy today. So I think I may do Old Navy. It was, I think 40% off site-wide. So that's it. That's the plan. Let's take her before I start sneezing again. Hold on. Let's go to the fire hydrant. That's the requirement before you go in. Everybody has to go see if they got to go potty. Are you done? She did go potty. No, not yet. Okay. All right. Let's go inside see your friends. Oh my gosh, she gets so excited. That lady's dog is pretty. They have. Oh my goodness. All right. So, on with our day. If I work today, I need to wash my hair. <laughs> That's my only hold up. I have to go home and wash my hair, which I kind of want to let my, like starting, start letting my hair just be natural instead of either straightening or curling it. Like don't blow dry it, put minimal heat kind of thing on it. But I don't really know what it's going to look like. I haven't like let my hair air dry in so long. I know I have naturally wavy hair. It's not curly like ringlets, but I know a wave is a curl pattern, but you have to be careful calling your hair curly when it's not because people, some people get heated over that. Um, so I know my hair is wavy. So I wanna see if I can put like stuff in it so it doesn't frizz. Cause that's the only reason, well, one of the only reasons I don't let it air dry all the time is because it's really frizzy. Um, so I kind of want to just put the product in it that I would normally put in to help hold back the frizz and stuff and just let it air dry. Today's not the day for that. I'm just talking out loud now. So, all right, let me do my last two errands that I need to run and then I'll see you when we pick cash up. Okay, slight change of plans. Let's go to Target. It is nasty outside. So I have a jacket, but a rain jacket. But listen, let me explain. Let me get a buggy, go to the restroom, and then I'll explain. Okay, I needed cat food. So let's get Layla some of that. I also got some of these uh, toothpick curve um, floss things and some more teeth whitening strips. I'm gonna grab one of these while I'm here too. I always like to have two at the house. Let's get Cash some of these. And then also she likes this brand, but the duck. I think it's duck and chicken maybe. Oh, she does need another one of these original. I tried to get her the blueberry one one time and she didn't really like them. So we'll get her the original. Here we go, chicken and duck. These are her favorite. 
Okay, so what we're really doing here is I'm having a brunch for my family for Easter, on Easter, and I just wanna see what kind of decor they have. Like these plates are cute, happy Easter. And then smaller ones, they've got the cute napkins. So I guess we'll grab some of, that says Hello Spring, we'll grab some of that stuff. Oh, this little set is cute. And they have some garland. I do wanna go look in the like one, three and five dollar section up front too, but I was back this way. These are really cute as well, but they're five dollars. They're more decorative, so I could put them in a cute bowl. I did grab those plates, those napkins, and then that plate set. We'll probably come back for like sweet things because we do have two weeks, but I'll probably end up getting everybody some kind of chocolate bunny just to take home with them. Let's grab a bag of these too, because I do want to hide some. These are three bucks for, I don't know, that's a lot of eggs in there. Okay, I take it back. We're gonna do these. These are a dollar for six. So we'll get the blue color and then also orange, Ooh, pink and yellow. So that's two bucks. These are a dollar. Do I get one to put these in for the island? I could get maybe the blue and then get pink inside or pink Ooh, with the green would be pretty. Let's do that. They have non-shiny as well. Maybe we'll get this one. Oh, that one's two bucks. It's not that serious. We'll get the dollar one. So here's the section at the front. Let's see if they've got anything cool that we want. LED Easter eggs. They light up. We're not interested in that. It's cute, but bracelets. Bend, shake, and glow. Hmm. I'm just looking for stuff for like the countertops, I think. Unless I see something else. That is cute. They say it's a hen basket. <gasps> Can we put something in that? I like that. Some kind of garland would be nice, but I want it to be Easter themed. These little bunnies are cute. Bunnies, oh my gosh, I dropped it. And then little chicks. But those are like, those should be like 50 cents. These are cute too. But again, three bucks, mm, I don't know. Just to use one time, probably not. This could be cute on the table. Maybe sitting around the basket. Okay. All right, we're getting somewhere. Let's look this way because we might find something extra that we didn't know we needed. Like some cute little hand towels or something. That's like a party towel. Here's some cute things. Okay, those are so cute. And then you've got the little grass. I like that. We might get some of these. Okay, we're gonna get this and probably this one too. That one is a little bit birthday party-ish. These are cute though. Okay, wait, do we do these instead? I wish they were a little bit bigger, like this size or maybe in a bowl version. They do have these in a bowl version, but they're not as cute as these. That's just, I don't know if it's big enough. This is cute too. They call it a dinner bowl and that would be perfect. I would need seven of them and they're four bucks each, which is not bad. Oh, I could mix them up with this. What do we think? I think we do it. I think I'm gonna keep the small ones and the napkins just in case we do like a little dessert or something. Okay, I came back to this first section and got seven different options because there's seven of us. So I'll let each person can pick what they want to take home. What I'm really looking for is like a big bunny, like some kind of decorative bunny that I can set out. I don't really see that here. I mean, we have time again, so we can go more places. I'm also debating whether I put the pink back but I could get like a bag of candy to put in it. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know how this happened. I have so much stuff, but look how cute these are. These are little lambs, mini chicks, and then the little carrots are gonna be really cute in that pink basket, I think. Just like as a decoration, but also I'm gonna need everybody to take all this candy home with them. I feel like I blacked out at Target, y'all. <laughs> what just happened? However, I am so happy with the bowls or slash plates that I picked out. They were four bucks a piece. I got seven of them, so 28 bucks is really not that bad. I think they'll, they're will they gonna be really cute, obviously, for the brunch, but also those style, like, depth bowls 
are perfect for pasta and we have like deeper bowls and like medium deep bowls but we don't have any that are that thin not as deep so we'll use them and they are very cute all right, all right i'm going home now i'm done spending money for the day except for when i pick up cash i think it's like 46 dollars, which is not bad at all so i'm going home oh i did buy some stuff yesterday at walmart well brian bought it for me actually because he checked out so when we get home i'll unload and then i'll show you it's like just a couple things that i picked up from walmart but also one thing that i saw it was very bizarre. Okay, we're home now. Here's my mini haul. Eco Tools, these sponges are superior. Y'all know I needed a new brush. I talked about it in the last vlog, that dry bar brush I really like, but they only had one at Ulta. My niece wanted one, so she got it. So I picked up the wet brush. However, this is their like go green, better for the environment type. There we go. Um, type brush, but I liked the green color. I used to go wild for wet and wild. I did get the dewy one instead of the matte one, but I did it on purpose. But I used to love this, and it was like $5.68, I think. And last but certainly not least, we're going to go for this again. I used to love this shampoo, this shampoo and conditioner. Um, and then I got into using salon products. We know that. But then I saw a TikTok about it saying how great it is. And here we are. So that's my mini haul. Also, I spotted like Cheetos brand makeup brushes at Walmart. <laughs> nothing I ever thought that I would say in my life Cheetos makeup brushes but they also had maybe Cocoa Puffs like there were a few different cereal flavored makeup brushes and I thought it was a little bit bizarre but anyway I'll put the little video here I probably already put the video here and you've already seen it but I thought it was a little bit wild so I'm gonna take these three things to my makeup room which I cleaned yesterday oh my gosh it's not like clean, clean, but there aren't clothes everywhere. It's a big improvement, okay? So this is sale items. That little bag is some swimsuits for Tish, who does my Brazilian. There were clothes everywhere. I had hidden them to where you couldn't see. Like this corner was clear, but there were clothes like all lined this way. So I'm proud of myself, but I got rid of them. So this stuff here. Hello. And then we'll take my shampoo and conditioner into the bathroom are you coming come on let's go i'm gonna use this i'll probably wash my hair in the morning i probably won't wash it tonight there we go now i'm gonna sit down i charged my kindle this morning i started a new book it's called jinxed by tori heat i think i am keeping tabs on favorites for we for when we do february and march favorites so that will be coming sometime early april look who it is They were quick today, it's only 11.30. She's so clean, look how cute. Oh my goodness. Hello, good morning. Oh, that window's down. It's about 9.22 on Wednesday. I need to edit you. I had like fun things planned for us to do Tuesday and Wednesday, and then I just got some unfortunate news about my very best friend for the longest time about her mom. So I just don't, I don't know. I don't have it in me. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna edit what we have so far, which I feel like was a pretty fun video. I'm headed to get something to eat for breakfast. I'm hungry, I'm tired. I'm also washing the blankets that we put on the couch. So by the time I get home, they'll be dried and fresh and I can lay them out or like tuck them in and stuff and then just relax for the day. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let's see, what do we have next week? We have, ooh, pictures, like those sunset pictures with Brian that I've been planning. And then the next one is Easter. My sister and I have a fun, like, sister trip planned that, I'm, that you will come with us for that I think will be fun. But as far as this video, we are wrapping it up. So I hope you enjoyed it. Did I say already? Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're watching and you're not subscribed already. I also talked about all the orders I put in. Those are starting to show up. So I think we'll have a bunch of fun spring type hauls to do very, very soon. So yeah, that's it. That's a wrap. Again, for the probably 12th time at this point, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my video on Saturday, which is an Amazon uh, swimsuit haul. So I'll see you on Saturday.